You don't need to worry about living in a snowbank or being stunned. Are you stunned, Willard? How's that snow taste? Is it pretty good? Are you stunned? Alrighty, fellers, before you feast your eyes on this minty production of K-Whopper Resurrection, I just had a few things to tell you. First thing, second, finally got our website dialed in. Uh, my buddy Kevin there has been working his uh, fancy pants fingers to the bone dialing in a new website, so we got one. So you head over to ziptiesandbiasplies.com and you can see all the merch and uh, sort of some pictures in there. And it doesn't look like I put it together because, uh, well, it was a disaster for a long time. I mean, what is under construction for three years? And second thing, second, and first things third we also got a bunch of merch on there we got a bunch of fancy pants stuff with slave lake on it and zip ties and bias plies we got flags all the minty stuff that uh i mean you don't need to save your money you just buy a bunch of mint crap so i could buy more beer oh yeah and before i forget as far as ordering stuff off the old zip ties and bias plies we're uh next door neighbors with santa claus and we ain't no amazon prime just uh be a little patient it takes a couple weeks to get the shit out so well, and lastly, if you guys want to enjoy this derelict production on a bridge, come over to the old Patreon, throw a few bucks in the old beer hat, and uh, not only is it unedited, but uh, the whole thing will be there. So, uh, unlike my leg, you guys can enjoy the whole thing. Alrighty, well enough mouth breathing and hobbling around. Enjoy this derelict production. What a treat. Did somebody say Dee Dee's Beach Shop? Willard, Dee Dee's Beach Shop? Dee Dee's Beach Shop? <laughs> To the land of uh, 1202 burning K Whoppers and dirty old leg choppers. Alrighty, well, we got a bit of a treat for you fellas this morning. <clears throat> I was sitting there on the computer doing some computer stuff, and uh, next thing you know, I got a she mail from a feller. He says, uh, Hey, Pagan Leggin, there's a dirty old K Whopper on the old uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I dial over to the old Facebook Marketplace, and sure as I limp when I walk, there's a dirty old 1987 W900B. K Whopper. So I get the message in the guy. I load up the skid steer and the trailer. Head out to the guy's place to go look at this old K Whopper, and uh, I plowed all around it. At the time, there was about well, a foot and a half of snow on the ground, and we just had a blizzard. But it's been real warm since, so uh, weathered stunned. Are you stunned? He's stunned. Yeah, so there was about a foot and a half of snow then. So I went out there with the skid steer and uh, plowed out all the way around this truck. I guess it was sitting for about 10 years, this old K Whopper has. And uh, plowed all around it, had a quick look at it. Next thing you know, we're shaking hands on a uh, on a deal of the old K Whoppers. Because I mean, how many dirty old derelict big trucks is too many dirty old derelict big trucks? I don't, I don't think there's a number you can put on that. I mean, as many as you could fit in, in a yard is, is pretty much the number. Isn't that right, Willard? Are you stunned? You can't eat that. You're stunned. So in order to get the old girl out, I was gonna bring the screw cab schlong box and do like we did with the concrete truck. Trust the mullet touch! <laughs> Stop! Shut her down! Oh, we rallied the belt. Oh, she's a right off i figured the truck that we're going to get is frozen in the ground up to the bottom of the hub and the whole front of the axle sunk in the ground so i figured what better way than to pull that thing out than with a dirty old bed truck me and my buddy aj the other night we spent uh, about an hour and a half getting this thing unstuck if you like alcohol that's a stupid question yeah <laughs> right it's like why do people drink too much well because it's great you do stupid things when you're drunk weren't you just giving me Oh, Dumptimus? There's, it's like the hybrid. There's Dumptimus and new ones in there. Oh, oh yeah. So the new ones are cranking, the old ones. Well, probably, but I mean, that's just the way she goes. All right, let's see if she fires. All the way to the mat. Waiting for oil pressure here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a treat! I mean, you can 
tell it's been sitting long enough that there's just gravel underneath it. There's not even any ice. You probably know it's good. All right, you know she's old? When you gotta rev her up to excite the alternator. A little more. She usually comes in around 1200. 13. Ah, 1300. Start charging. That's how you know the old alternators work. that she was built before safety back when men were men and uh, they had velcro gloves and rubber boots <laughs> the uh, only thing has the power divider and no locker so we're gonna have to pull her out all right i don't know how long you had been watching the channel for but uh the old screw cab schlong box she's a pro at pulling out big trucks i pull out my pull out game's dope all we need is the ac ether she doesn't need the uh the john deere variety Why use a dozer when you got an old Ford? You don't need to fire the dozer up. The old screwy schlong's got this. Put her back the old prick in the shop and get her all fixed up, ready for the road. Ranch. See that flag up there? America. So we spent about an hour getting her out of the hole she was in. And then uh, what we did is we went over the old thing. The power divider airline was rotted through. The service airline was rotted through. Fuel line was rotted through. Got the drippy dong, eh? The headlight buckets were all rotted out. So we put a new headlight buckets in her out of a T800. I mean, they're not round and it's kind of a kick to the dink, but I mean, it's better than no headlights at all. We spent uh, about two and a half hours and a, a solid nine or 10 beer uh, wiring in the headlights wrong four times. And that was good. But speaking about DD Speed Shop. Oh. Is that DD Speed Shop? 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 DD Speed Shop. Is that DD Speed Shop? 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 DD Speed Shop? I learned everything I know from DD Speed Shop, DD Speed Shop, DD Speed Shop. I cut this Bronco in half and. and Glued it together with more parts. DD Speed Shop. DD Speed Shop. DD Speed Shop. Wait. Is that DD Speed Shop? Is that DD Speed Shop? Is that DD Speed Shop? What do we have here? Is that DD Speed Shop? DD Speed Shop. Is that DD Speed Shop? Is that DD Speed Shop? So I'm out here just minding my own business with all my junk. And wouldn't you know it? DD Speed Shop. Is that DD Speed Shop? Holy 
at Steedy Speed Shop. So I was telling this guy, dirty old hot rod hippie, about this minty old K-Wop I just bought. And the guy jumps on a plane in Methitoba. The next thing you know, I'm picking this dirty hippie up at the airport. Are you allowed to have diesel engines in Methitoba? Or? This kind of behavior is never tolerating him. In Methitoba. They, they put you in jail. The government doesn't allow it? No, the evenings and weekends. Right to jail, right away. Oh, right on. Do you want to fire this one up? Yeah, I do. Right to jail. She'll fire. All right, jump into Dee Dee's Beach Shop. Oh, by the way, he drove this thing last night. Believe it or not, jail. Is that Dee Dee's Beach Shop driving a K-Whopper? <laughs> jail, right away. This is something else. Dee Dee's Beach Shop? Dee Dee's Beach Shop, Billy Big Gregor edition. Yeah, well, we had to get him to test drive it. Alrighty, well thanks to a dirty old metal pile to dump, got myself a brand used work box from, uh, well some minty prick. The guy's pretty mint, but we got her all loaded up with all the we'll ever need. I mean, you got everything in there. And uh, got a couple batteries, we got DD's Beat Shop working. Can you do that faster and less hippie-ish, or? Yeah, there you go, oh, man, there you go. It's making me feel good, is that cultural appropriation? But we got the slave leg air compressors. The float bowl's definitely struggling. I just poured all the, that's, that was oil and gas. It all came out of the gas tank, it went into the crankcase. But we just let her buck onto the floor and then we got the old oil burton floor dry sweep it up. Don't worry, we'll just throw that right in the dump. Who lives and reigns with the father. <sighs> but yeah, we got the old slave leg air compression ready to go. Yeah, we can use the wind out of the big truck, but I mean, you might as well have a backup. Alrighty, now we're burning all the 1202. We'll just throw the work box up there. All the uh, dirty old compressor. Where's Willard? Whether it's somewhere being stunned, guaranteed. How much shit did we bring? All of it. Is that Didi's Beach Shop? Didi's Beach Shop. Oh, we gotta clear the record here before we leave. So, Didi's Beach Shop, you know, calling me a pizza saying I'm not classy enough. So the guy shows up this morning <laughs> and hands me a Leatherman Wave gold plated edition. We're gonna fuck this thing up. So fancy. Look how, look how fancy that fancy is. Oh man, isn't that called bougie? Yeah, you're bougie. Am I bougie now? Oh man, no, you know what I am? I'm bougie. <laughs> yeah. Ready. You wanna go get a K-Whopper? I'm, do it. I'm excited. Furnace and it's old prick work pretty good, eh? Hot. I want to take a log off the fire. You think those people like gig breaks? Yeah. Alright Danny, we gotta do the whole truck driver experience. Okay. We're gonna go to the old f*** off here. Yeah. We're gonna f*** a lot lizard. Yeah. Get some 1202. Okay. Eat some dirty old food so we damn near have a cholesterol jammer. Okay. And then uh, piss in the jug. <laughs> oh Mandy, that's perfect. Oh. Mm. Okay. Bubs, where the road, buddy? Little Brad, we gotta establish dominance. America. I watched at the Husky House, they had all the trucks parked side by side. Watch this broad get out of one big truck, squat down, 
splash your box out and puddle fill the 1540 to get into the next truck. Uh -huh. now, now that's classy. Oh, they even got the handicap spot dialed oh. in for us. Oh, that's greasy. That's really greasy. Yeah, that's greasy. Greasy. So how was your lot litter? Everything I expected. And how was the, how was the breakfast? Just as greasy? He was, yeah. AW was was the least greasy part of the day so far. And a piss jug? What bad? What a, I, I tell you, those holes are pretty big on the piss jug. So. Well, it depends, right? Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. All right, there, Swamper. Get the f home. Put the chains on. That's hard work. Get out. Man, can you imagine being like the old timers that actually had to work for a living? Well, where we're going in, it's icy as So, uh, gotta throw a set on. How windy is it right now? Pretty windy. All of it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go boomers and slack to the back and then drive onto the cunt. We're just gonna roll one chain on, make sure it fits, and then if they fit, then we'll put more on there. So what you do now, put your glove in here, and when she waves at you, you know to stop. Then that handy dandy little tool I built, you hook her on there. Oh, toy. Tight as All right, let's roll. Alrighty. Made it here safe and sound. What do you think, needs to be Pretty good. Whoever planted this truck with this fake revive and drive yeah. did a great job. I, well, it's definitely fake. Yeah. This revive and drive is about as real as my right leg. Man, this thing is just pimped right out. What a sweetheart. Yeah, what is that? What's that? Oh, the dumpy's nest is real. Hey, it follows you. Man, the dumpies. Look at that thing. Good thing it's not summertime. All right. Well, I don't, I don't know why the dash is taken out of it. There's some questionable things. Oh, the fuel pedal sticks real bad. So what happened was I came out here a couple weeks ago and had a gander at it. All righty. So here she is. This is the first time the old girl has been uh, cranked over in who knows how long. More. Giving this thing away, so I wanted to make sure I wanted it before I uh, laid down the cash for it. And uh, it came out here, and I just half heartedly shoveled the snow around it with the skid steer. And then I hooked up the jumper cables and I got the engine to turn over the whole 360. So I know that the engine turned over. We never got it to the fire, obviously. We weren't able to get power into the cab, I had to arc out the solenoid, but uh, we'll be able to figure that out, right? Did you speak, up? You're good at wiring. So if you've noticed, this truck looks a little bit different than a tractor and a little bit different than a bed truck. And the reason that is because you guessed it, this is a Texas bed truck. In my past. What a treat. So what this truck is designed to do, and I asked my buddy Brewer, so basically you hook onto a trailer with this old girl. So you'll win this airbag up. You pull these pins out right here and you let the airbag back down which sets the whole back of the truck down and then you hook onto a trailer with this guy so you have a big long scissor neck trailer so you pull up onto some tanks some 400 barrels or an echo shack or something like that some might call it home and you'll uh pull them onto the trailer you'll run that winch line all the way down the trailer pull the tanks on one at a time so once the tanks are all loaded up you strap her all down you head out to location you kick the tanks off you dolly the truck off the trailer and then it's like this truck you'll be able to pull things onto the live roll on the back well it's not live right now because it's getting hell but pull things onto the live roll on the back and then uh move them around location with ease that's the whole idea behind these trucks so basically it's the best of both worlds it's a winch truck and it's a bed truck and it's a tractor it's everything a guy needs i needed this right danny but yeah, let's get her, uh, let's get the ranch opened up here. The paint scheme 
it's it just unreal. Isn't it, Danny? It's the DD's Beach Shop, big truck. All right, well, let's pull the ranch open. Put her down. Oh, yeah, that thing's on there pretty good. And there she is, 3406B. But as you can clearly see, it hasn't been sitting for very long. Alrighty, well, it was windier than one of the little potato speeches out here, so just gonna do a voiceover. Basically, what I was jawing about right here was the truck had been sitting for about 10, 11 years, I guess, in the same spot, and it sank all the way down to the, uh, the axles, clearly, on the front and the back of the truck. It was completely frozen in on the front and the back. But when you're dealing with a 3406B, you really wanna make sure the oil's good. Not only is it good, but it's not over full. See, when they're over full, like way over full, that means that there's coolant in there and it's displacing the oil. And the frame's mint and everything. And the frame is mint. There's not even any rust jacking like on someone it. Someone literally did all the work and then just... And parked, parked it. Parked it. Almost like someone DD Speed shopped it. <laughs> and then they parked it. Whenever you walk into a liquor store and the guy behind the counter has a man bun, don't expect there to be bush lattes there. Man, the dump bees in here are real, eh? They're fucking crazy. I think there was a squirrel living in it though. It doesn't smell like rat piss though. Hey, why is everything unscrewed? You know what I mean? It's weird looking, eh? <laughs> no, didn't start. Couldn't get her to run. We're gonna get her to go. I don't know what this guy is. Is this guy a fuse? Let's just take that power probe. Well, there's a start. <laughs> weird looking fuse, isn't it, Danny? You're just gonna be an inline glass fuse. Oh yeah, like, oh, Last someone thing. put, someone tinfoiled it. Nice. Oh, cigarette wrapping. <laughs> that's how you know it's good. Oh, the fuse is blown and she's got cigarette wrapping on it. So that's so probably- So that's 12 volts on the other side though? Can I, you hurry, uh, huh? No! <laughs> Why did you uh, invite? You bring, a, you bring a guy to help out the cripple. What do they do? <laughs> Hurries you up. All right, so what the going on here? So windy as is the, uh, there's no key power. There's no power coming from that big ass wire going to that fuse. So, you know, you're gonna do the right thing and then just hook up these giant jumper cables to the back of the ignition switch just to see if it'll crank over. All right, let's just see what happens. Is there power? Heard some. Is that DD speed shop? We got power. We got crank. Well, we fixed it. So. A little tape around there so it doesn't wear through anything. Well, yeah, through. exactly. Hey, yeah, well, you, we might run it like <laughs> over here though. So, <laughs> all right, so, and why wouldn't there be, now where the, where do you think that wire goes to, like this guy here? Because that cigarette plated fuse, I mean, that's just mint. The only tool we've used so far has been the Leatherman. We're gonna have to send a note to Sawed Off Frenchman telling him he's done. All right, well, we got power. Just, just tap it over to start, just, just quick. There, it clicks. All right, we'll tape the of that wire. Make sure that wire don't come off, because she's all mechanical, this cat but it uses a 12 volt solenoid to fire the injection pump. Hold on, does the cigarette lighter work? Do you think the cigarette, turn the key on to run on? I think the, yeah, cigarette lighter works. Oh. Is there any old butts in it? Oh, there's one filthy old butt. What is this, what, what's happening? Oh, I'm gonna smoke it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the rule, man. You find a filthy old butt and a cigarette lighter. Oh, man. Buddy smoked it. She was a mustache oh. burner. Oh, well, there might be another one in here. You got an ashtray on your side, too? Nothing in there? Oh, maybe just a lot lizard was smoking in here. Clean, clean one on her truck. Oh, buddy. This one still got something left. <laughs> oh, I gotta do it. It's tradition. I'm going to throw up. Hold on, look. Yep. Do I look greasy? Just a tin man. Metal. With or without the cigarette? All of it? Oh. Harley Davidson shades? Buddy. That's how oh. the guy was driving this thing. Oh, that doesn't smell nice. Oh, oh. oh it smells bad. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Oh. Cigarette lighter works though. <coughs> oh, yeah. You know what it tastes like? Air fresheners. It doesn't smell oh. like an air freshener. Cab lights work? Man, look at that! Mood lighting! Oh no. How's your side? You oh, good? everything works. The radio work? Yeah. yeah. The dump bee nest work? Oh, air conditioning? Oh, oh. It's the dump bee's <laughs> messed up. All right. Well, let, man, do you want to see if it'll start? We should probably see if it starts. Let's see here. Ready? Are you clear? Right to the mat. Starting to get oil pressure. That's good. Go turn the key off and then back on again. I'll see if this injection pump solenoid's moving. Turn the key off and on. Yeah, the injection pump's clicking. 
Let's pump up the fuel system here. Let's see what happens now. Ready? Oh. Or let's let's lube up this uh, throttle cap. Can you see the linkage down there? Can you spray oil on whatever? Oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you floor it. And if you fire it up, wicker back. Ready? Oh, come on, sweetheart. Hey, Shujin, come on. Come on. Let's pump her back up on the old fuel. We definitely didn't check to see if it had fuel in it. Tank here. Oh, there's close to all in this thing. It ain't got no gas in it. We'll see what happens. We'll just crank the batteries dead. Sound good? Okay, floor that throttle. Ready? Come on. Why are them belts squeaking? Is there something locked up? Alrighty, well being that it's windier than a Taco Bell uh, What we're talking about here is pulling diesel from the old bed truck into the old uh, Texas bed truck via a little bit of siphon act. Alrighty, well we went ahead and looked around through this pile of We found this chunk of hose, found this dirty old pump. I don't know what it's good for. We'll see if it works. Well, as you can tell here, the pump's working great, and we didn't even spill any 1202 on the ground. Greta would be proud. Oh, oh now we're getting diesel. All right, you gonna go, Danny? Oh, yeah. Speed jump? All right, let's see. Hold to the mat again? Uh, I fixed it. You fixed it? Oh, right on. I'll hold to the mat. Yeah. Ready? Need the Cosby sauce. So I was just giving Dee Dee Speed Chop some J Mad advice on how to properly spray the old Cosby sauce. He's got this. Ready? Yeah. AC? You want, can you just spin it? I'll watch see what one's spinning. Which one's, maybe, yeah, it could be the alternator. You ready? Yep. Alternator. Alternator seized up. Oh, it feels like it's running now. What is that? I swore it didn't go. It had the... Uh, you sure it's the fan hub? Well, right here, like, isn't that fan? Yeah, that is. Let's just bump it over again, see what happens. Again? Ah, oh, it's free now. Yeah, it's at a wampus angle too. Fire back up, man, it starts good, eh? Yeah. Man, it runs sweet. Making wind. Which one is it? So that, that's your air suspension. Okay. I don't know why it even had that, because it doesn't have, oh. Must have a different uh, dash in it. But it's making but it's, air. It's got bags on it. On the front. Oh, it's over the back? No, no, yeah, it's just rubber blocks in the back. <laughs> Man, it sounds good. America. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a Caterpillar engine. 
It sounds. Man. 